you want an <laughs> outdoor Mod Podge, they do make it. <laughs> Another little thing, too, to remember when you're doing your Mod Podge, unless you are the Mod Podge queen like I am, <laughs> I really am, don't get the big containers because they'll dry up on you. Just get the smaller ones. I know you might be saving a little bit of money when you get the bigger ones, but if you're not de dealing in volume, don't do it. So, I saw this bottle and I thought, oh my God, that is so perfect. My friend uh, Marie gave this to me. Just for, just a disclaimer, I do not drink all this alcohol. I hardly ever drink, hardly ever. My, I have acid reflux and my stomach says, no. <laughs> Plus, I don't want to be a bad witness. But, but isn't this going to look so cute? And it's going to be so easy to make. Any type of little ring, this one here opens up, which is kind of nice to have, um, just in case you want to put it like a, around a little pole or something outside. You can open it up, snap it around, and then close it. And you can get bigger rings, too. I have to be locked into that one. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have enough and that this is going to be secure enough to hold this bottle. This is the wired jute type rope. I'm using that because it's more durable outside. I live in Arizona where the heat kills everything. Um, especially during the summertime when it's super hot out here. We get up in the 120s. So my suggestion, to, yeah, we do. <laughs> so my suggestion it to you is to make sure you have a nice quality rope. Otherwise, it's going to, um, in time, rot, and your bottle's going to end up on the ground, and you're going to be really, really sad. And it doesn't cost that much to get one of these. I think one roll of these regular prices like $4.99 and of course you know me I got it 80 to 90 percent off probably because I got it after the holidays so even though this was in the Christmas ribbon that got blown out after the holiday a neat little gift for a teacher as well you know you're always looking for something unique and different for teachers I did a no-no <laughs> Don't use your scissors on this stuff because it has wire in it. Cut the wire and then use your scissors. My bad. So we're going to put this here for a second. More. So what I would like to do... Because when you hang that up, you want it to stay where you're hanging it up. Full disclosure. And for those of you that follow me, you know, I'm just making this up as we go along. I've never made one of these before. <laughs> I haven't. But you know, I, in my head, I've made it. <laughs> it's in my head. <laughs> so we're going to hang it this way. We're going to wrap the twine around it to make it secure for when the fluid is in there, the, the, the nectar, it's not going to come apart on you, okay? So, we're going to cut these open. I'm just going to use my, my power scissors. This is easier. So now we have four dangles, right? Hang down once you wrap it, right? Just kind of wrap, start wrapping it and we're going to go for it. There we go. So we're going to tape those end pieces down. I use painter's tape. <laughs> so we're taking this. Tape this down. And I'm taping this down. I'm running it down on, on the bottle like that because the vision I have for this little I'm going to have it wrapped on the top and the bottom. I want it to be really secure. I don't 
don't want it going anywhere once I once I finish it it's done show you this in a second just to keep it in place while you're wrapping it use painters tape if you can that way you don't get that gobbly goop all over your stuff So see how I'm spacing them out? Because when it hangs, you want it to hang even. That's going to be secure in place when we wrap it. So we're going to wrap it now just to hold those in place. Don't get all caught up on everything having to be perfect when you're wrapping it because you're going to come back and overlay and wrap on it anyway. See how I'm just wrapping that around. One of the little tricks I do. Is I will pin that. <laughs> Get this open. I take a pin. And I use these big pins for you can see what I'm doing. They're your bouquet pins. I'll take that one end, that my end piece that wants to keep on um, coming off, and I'm going to now shove that. I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. I'm going to shove that to hold it in there. And we're just going to wrap this a little bit more. Make sure when you're wrapping it, you have everything where you want it. Don't worry about this right now. We're going to come back to that. And I'm thinking one spool is actually going to do the trick on this. I think so. Any piece that's wanting to come undone, like this one's a little wonky, just pin that down with the pin for right now. When we Mod Podge this, when we Mod Podge this down, it's going to hold it and secure it in place. It's also going to give your twine, it's not cooperating. <laughs> It's going to give your twine um, that little extra coating, covering, to keep it looking nice from the elements. You want to wrap it pretty good because it's going to have some weight to it when you um, put your nectar in here. So just keep on t spinning it and wrapping it until you get it to where you want it. This is going to look so cute for Valentine's Day. And you could, if you wanted to, put like little stickers on it and stuff. You totally could. Or you could paint on this if you want to put like little butterflies or whatever. You could even put those little embellishments on there. Right now, for um, time's sake, we are just going to do this. And like I share, I will post the finished product when it's done my gallery and art pal. It's, it's a trade-off. Either I have my glasses on and I glare at you the whole time, <laughs> or I just answer all the questions when we're done. So this is the outside. I bought this just for you. <laughs> we're going to dab this on. You can use a paintbrush or you can use your sponge. I'm using a sponge because that's what I have handy dandy right now. Remember what I share, Mod Podge dries clear so it's okay to get it on the bottle. And we're just dabbing this, dabbing this, dabbing this. We're just dabbing it on the nice and thick. Um, and for those of you that have done Mod Podge with me in the past, I'm not using water right now because I just want full consistency and I want all the strength of this Mod Podge to be holding this little thing up. Muy importante. Be on there. Get in there. I want that to soak in there and just stick to that bottle. Put 
this is kind of fun. I can see my friends and neighbors going, ooh, who's going to get that one? <laughs> I might keep this one for myself. <laughs> I've already got someone in mind on this one. See, I'm getting it all in there on that string because I want that to really, 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 See, I'm putting that all together there, getting it all on there. And here's the beauty of when you're doing these at home, and these are your creations, you could set it aside and let it dry and come back and work on it some more, and you don't have to just pound it all out at one time. So don't copy me as far as pounding it all out. Take your time with it. Let it dry between the stages. I pound it all out at one time for you can see the process. But you don't, you don't have to. That. <laughs> okay. See how that is? Now what, what's going to happen is this is going to dry, and I'm actually going to put another coat on it because I really want it. I really want it on there. But this is going to dry. I'm going to put like a little bow up here, and I'm going to wrap it around here too. So now we're going to go down to this side. Make sure all these are how I want them. I'm a little. Little OCD, they have to be perfect, otherwise, I'll make them crazy. So now we can lift that tape off a little bit, put that more in line where we want it. And we're going to wrap, we're going to wrap this bottom piece now. So make sure your lines are where you want them. So I'm just going to leave those up there for right now, taking these off, because now we're going to wrap this piece. Yes, we are. <laughs> Here's the fun stuff. Because I put nail polish on for today's share. I never wear nail polish. Never. I did all the time when I was working. I had to dress to impress when I worked. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm just me having fun. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure these are where we want them. And remember what I said about when you're working with glass. Always make sure your glass is clean before you start. I did. This was clean with alcohol before I started. Looking to see where I, I started my wrapping points, and I'm going to do that on the bottom here too. When I decorate it, it's all going to be done at the same wrapping points. What I mean by wrapping points, I'll show you here. See how that's knotted right there? I have this here. I'm going to do that down here too. Same thing we did on the top here. We're just going to wrap, wrap, wrap. Don't worry too much about keeping your lines straight right now because you can just tighten those up as you get your wrap on there. When you get your wrap on. <laughs> just kind of straighten these down a little bit, make them nice where you want them. Nice and even. And the reason I'm doing the double wrap is to give it that double security. The last thing you want to do when you hang this up full of nectar is to have it fall down on you because it didn't hold. And I'm wrapping each side and I'm pulling each side down to where I want that string to go. Now I'm getting where I'm pulling it taunt. Taunt means tight. <laughs> Just like when I say it's a smidge, that means it's a little. Okay, so make it taunt and just wrap it. And then kind of smoosh it, you know, how you want it. And I'm actually going to go for the rest of the what I have here on the string. And then that's going to make it pretty secure moving forward. Remember how we use our little pins to hold things in place. So now we're going to hold, we're going to put the pin through the thread here and hold that in place. Now here's the thing to remember too. <laughs> I learned this the hard way. Before your Mod Podge completely dries, <laughs> take your pins out. <laughs> Otherwise they'll dry in there with the Mod Podge. So, and then you can smooth them out a little bit more. So there'll be a little bit more smoothing that I would do. Pull that taunt how you want it. 
leave these long for right now. Don't trim them up yet. We don't need to trim those up yet. I know, I know, they look tacky, but they're there for a reason. So this. Just for right now, just leave them alone. We'll get to those in a minute. <laughs> Buff. We don't need this tape on anymore. The tape held it in place for us to do our magic. Okay. So now we're going to Mod Podge this part. And I always start where my ties off are. And I'm going thick. Remember what I said? I really, really, really want it to stick. Now, when you're doing this at home, I would Mod Podge the bottle where you're going to wrap it first, let it get a little tacky, and then do um, your wrapping just to give it that little extra oomph, but um, a little extra security. But for time's sakes, I, I didn't do that. I'm really liking this outdoor um, Mod Podge. It's leaving a really cool frosty effect on the bottle. That's why you use a little sponge because then you get that little frosty effect and that is going to look amazing when it dries off. See how this is not wanting to stay down? We're going to pin that. Let's poke myself in it. Put those little ends down. And you can, you'll be able to go through this when you're done and clean those loosens up. Now this is why I wanted you to keep these on here for you to continue to pull this down as you're doing this. So bounce those up because we're going to trim those down and you don't want them to be sticking to your bottle. So take your ends and, and get them bounced up like that. Push them up. And I'm going to actually frost the whole neck because I think that frosting effect will look really pretty. So I'm going to frost the strings on here too as well. I want these strings to really adhere to this bottle. We're using the outdoor Mod Podge. So it should weather the elements of the day. Isn't that cool? We're just going to put that right to the bottle. We want it to stick to the bottle. If you see where your string's not sticking, just smush it down and have it stick, okay? And then pull it taut. And this is one of those things to where at home you could let that dry a little bit, come back and do this piece. But we're doing it all right now for you <laughs> can see the process. <laughs> so just kind of smoosh that down there. And you'll be able to get your hummingbird feeder um, nectar, stick it in there or whatever. Don't give them sugar water. I heard that's really, really bad for them. can look it up because you can look anything up nowadays. You see the difference with, without? Now this is going to dry clear and it'll be like a clear frosty finish. And that's going to do two things for your hummingbird feeder. When you put the color in there, it's going to attract them because of the color and it's going to amplify, I think. I think it'll amplify the color. If not, it sounds good. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this, get this on here. Really get that Mod Podge on there because that is your security. That's what's going to hold that in place. Remember what I said? We're going to come back and trim these. All these strings that are sticking out right now are going to be trimmed off once it dries. This when it gets tacky, when it starts getting tacky, then I'll dry it off. 
I'll trim them off. You can pick these little bird, um, the hummingbird corks. I got these through Wally's World. That was the best price I could find was through Walmart. Uh, So we're going to put a bow, make that kind of cute on top, bling it out a little bit. We're going to halitize it and work on it a little bit more, but I want that frost. See, you can see on the neck how that frost is going to go clear. It's where it can dry and not be disturbed. Hummingbird cork in it. Remember what I said, sugar water is not good for your hummingbirds from what I'm telling you. Get the hummingbird nectar and do it right. If somebody has a good hummingbird um, nectar recipe, stick it down in the comments and we'll share it with everyone. And until next time, I'm done. Marie, thank you for my little apron. It's so cute and it worked out perfect for Valentine's Day and my cute little cup. <laughs> and um, as my daddy always said, have a good day and a better tomorrow. As Papa Chuck always said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And to my girls, peace out. Until next time, it's been real. Thanks for hanging out with me at Hallie's Creations. Remember to check me out on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram as well as Facebook. Bye. <laughs> now I have to turn it off. <laughs> I do have a clicker, but then it turns off this one. <laughs> so.